Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. Why not take a ride in a Hemi Barracuda? Why not? I'm with Tom Lembeck. Tom, how are you today? Hi, Lou. Good. We've had another fun time. We just want to show, here's your Hemi Cuda. Let's take a ride. Let's put it, let's put it down. Let's do it. Let's do it. people see the rear end. Tom, always a pleasure. Good to see you. Yeah, Lou. Good to be uh, out on a nice uh, cold day in uh, May, Chicago, driving the Hemi Cuda convertible around. There's your shaker uh, hood. I hope the police don't bother us today. I, I left the French uh, plates on the car that uh, the, the gentleman who owned the car back in France had on, so they probably don't know the difference. How long you had this car? I've had this car since uh, probably 1999 or 2000. So it's been with you for a while. Yeah, I've had it for a while. Uh, back in the day, I paid up pretty good money for it, but uh, I think now, uh, estimate on these there's only 371 uh, four-speed hemi cuda convertibles estimates between five and seven million on the car so here we go it's no big deal the traffic uh <laughs> actually we've just hit a dead end i'm gonna have to come up fullerton avenue i kind of like that direction maybe do a little burnout or something <laughs> uh maybe you can see the the gauges are in kilometers because when the car uh, was ordered to France. They do a uh, gauge in kilometers. And, uh, you know, there's different uh, power th windows. things they have to do. Yeah, power windows. I guess in France, they like manual shift and power windows. Let me see that shift for a second when we got the chance. So, oh, that's beautiful. When the car was first that's found, uh, the gentleman that saw the ad, uh, called over there, and the guy spoke very broken English, but he said, yes, it's a manual shift, and it's a four-speed, you know, Hemi Cuda convertible, and uh, no one believed it because there was only thought to be two in existence at that time, two U.S. production four-speed cars. have to keep your wits about you and your nerve in the city because these people don't really care about what a car <laughs> what is what it's worth they just want to get where they're going yeah right and uh, it's chicago it's, it's working town it's working town construction yeah it's on a little vespa nice i mean this is pretty stock it's not gonna blow anybody's doors off Let's go down Southport. We can take the same trip as the uh, Daytona, but backwards. Nice. I, think my, I think last time we filmed it, uh, one of the ex exhaust, uh, one of the mufflers blew out. But actually, I think both mu mufflers blew out. We had to rebuild the uh, carburetors from the McCacken show. And uh, I guess going out and driving and running the car around, the mufflers had uh, a few holes in them and when i really jumped on it they just exploded and i had to replace the uh we got we've got no radio in here no he he ordered it i guess their uh the radios are different in france so he ordered it radio delete and they at one point i think he put a french uh radio in it we got the convertible top so uh they they like these subdued colors i guess in france they ordered white is a common color uh gray this winchester gray is is pretty rare i think there's only two or three hemi cuda convert uh hemi cuda hard tops that color and uh, one just sold at mecham which was kind of an uh, original paint car 
and I think that sold uh, last January at, at Meekum. And I think I've heard of one or two other hard tops that color, but this is the only uh, big block or Hemi convertible ever built Winchester gray. If you watch the hood there, you can see a little yeah. shake in that too. I mean, it's That's a beautiful nice. color. You can see that kind of silver and blue oh, yeah. and gray and different lights, you know, different lighting, if it's cloudy, if it's sunny, if it's early, uh, late in the day, the color's kind of, it's a metallic uh, paint. So. I'm gonna jump out for just a second, take a walk around it while we're here. Okay. kinds of reactions those girls really liked the car that one guy was livid that I would uh, slow down his day by stopping the car for you to get out <laughs> I saw the look on his face he's like get that thing out of my way I gotta go yeah. you know you don't have time for this they're fighting to go wherever they're not going anywhere it's Sunday so I know he's not going to work but he was in his Honda or whatever he was driving he was flipped out that I stopped to let you out <laughs> take a picture left we'll you know so I'm talking about you know Chicago yeah and the only thing my kind of town right the only thing better is if I could have been in a Ferrari and then either you get more respect or the, or, guy, or the guy would have been <laughs> really pissed like yeah, that what are they doing that jerk with an expensive Ferrari getting in my way I gotta go you know direction we could go. Well, they got a little construction down this side. They tore this building down. Behind the Webster Movie Theaters. So we get a little free. Right, we don't need to get at it too hard. Your son Joe is in the back. Yeah, right, right. right? Let, me get one, let me hop out for one quick burnout. And this is wide open here. Yeah. What's it? Nothing better, Tom. Yeah, that burnt some rubber. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. I mean, this car really needs, like all of them. Oh, I hope the gas isn't. We're not going to run out of gas. We might have to. All right, go bring back. her back. Yeah, bring let's her bring back. her back. <laughs> bring her you back, know, fill her with gas. I do need to drive it, and you know, the more valuable this car got, the less I really drove it because I used to drive it all the time, go downtown, go to, you know, where Gibson's is at. Car show or something, sure, yeah. bring the wife out. But, you know, downtown Chicago, I wasn't as worried about it, but, you know, the drivers are getting crazier out here. Uh, they just don't respect anything that's out there. And, you know, the car's worth enough where it's probably a good idea to keep it uh, inside most of the time. And here's a Sunday, and you can see the traffic's out of control here. Yeah. Just look what's going on out here. It's busy out here. So, um, I'm not scared of maybe getting a little nick or something in it, but you know. We're doing a burnout like we just doing did. Doing a burnout. Um, right, and it probably, it needs that. It needs to really be true. Oh yeah, we need to, we need to get know, it out once in a while. Uh, show, the, show the viewers that you take it out once right. in a while. Right, and we rebuilt those carbs to go to the McCacken show and it, Really needs a, maybe a little more adjustment. Probably needs the timing set again. Cut in front of this guy. But if it was a little warmer, we could put the top down. But being 
is it's what 50, 50 some degrees 52 out in Chicago. Or 54 yeah, 54 today. It's pretty lousy out. Well, Tom, I'm gonna I'm gonna run around the car one last time here as we pull up to the front because I'm gonna also show people what it is. I've got my car here, and oh, yeah. we'll show them the uh, what, what the what the muscle car and Corvette National uh, logo look like. Let me jump out. So that's what we're talking about there. And there it is. Tom, thanks again for being on My Car Story. Always a treat. No problem, Lou. Thank you. See you next time.